Mo meetings equal Mo problems? No, not necessarily. There is no shortage of complaints when it comes to all the online video, audio, sharing, and more that we all participate in. And as your organization continues to invest in this area, it's important to understand how WebEx continues to outperform with visibility and insight that will surprise you. The key is Control Hub, a single administrative dashboard centralizing management for all WebEx devices and services from meetings to contact centers, issues, diagnostics, and of course, remediation tools. In fact, I usually just say Control Hub equals peace of mind. And I can justify this in only a couple of minutes walking you through just one facet of the Control Hub toolset, troubleshooting. In fact, this is the overview page, the front entrance to what some may call an embarrassment of riches. Now, we are limiting ourselves to this troubleshooting tab. It takes us into the meetings and call search page, but there are tabs here for status, connected, UC, as well as some logs. But let's click on live meetings. So you'll see the KPIs across the top. Quick glance, you can see if things are good or bad or need to be dug into. And these are real-time views refreshed every minute and it helps to know you're interpreting things correctly. And I call these little eyes because, well, that's what they are, they're little eyes. But also when you hover over them, they give you a little info, like how this data was generated. The hover trick works in many places, like on the map, so don't hesitate to try it. These meetings are all showing green, so everything's good. Any issues showing here would be easy to chase by simply clicking. You can see what is in the search bar here at the bottom by default. But all we have to do is click on one of these lines to get more detail on a particular meeting. We get usernames along with a time series graph. It's the who, what, when, and where all laid out for quick absorption. Now, going back to show all live meetings, we can see latency plotted over time. There's an obvious peak here showing packet loss here in purple. IP by network performance here is just below it. And hovering here reveals things like the service provider and the location. Now that's a lot, right? But a cheesy part of me wants to say, and that's not all. But instead of going deeper on this same meeting, let's go back up to meetings. I'm just gonna cut and paste a conference ID here for a meeting that I was working with earlier. We can click now anywhere on this line and we get the now familiar screen layout with KPIs that are specific to this meeting. The timeline illustrates a lot of important information at a glance. We have the chart legend to refer to as needed. And this tells us that this H right here on the line denotes that the user is a host. Uh, and this purple diamond means that there was a configuration change. In fact, it looks like audio sources. Let's just click on that user. Now we can see latency, packet loss, uh, jitter across any type of meeting activity. See audio, video, share quality, CPU usage, memory usage, it's all in there. And it's so intuitive. When in doubt, just click or, or hover and you'll figure it out quickly. You should see this panel here on the right. Uh, you can toggle it open and closed if needed. This participant level detail uncovers even more collected data, such as the use of virtual background. So powerful. WebEx designers spent a lot of time making sure that this troubleshooting area provided more depth than you will likely need on a daily basis without losing sight of the big picture. It's so easy to just glance at these stats and then dive in only when needed. Now I get that in reality, nobody sits around staring at screens. So even though it's not part of troubleshooting technically here, let's go back up to the main page so I can point out the alert center. This is where you control what media quality conditions warrant your attention from tracking a VIP user experience to the awareness that a meeting quality trend just reached your predefined threshold. And these alerts include links that guide you straight into the relevant troubleshooting detail that you need, which of course brings us back to our main topic right now, troubleshooting. Big or small meetings and events all of them, they have enough stress. And as just one of the many tools available to you, Control Hub keeps you on top of your meetings before your users are on top of you. And it's only on WebEx. Like we do it, like we do it, like we do it.